well, right prior, before my mission, I, I had read pieces of the Book of Mormon. Um, I had never read it all the way through cover to cover, and at this point I was 19 um, and had had my call. Um, I got it August 3rd, I think. And so mid-August, my family took a vacation to uh, Nauvoo, Illinois, and the church sites there, and Liberty, and just all around that area. And in Nauvoo, they sell those replica Book of Mormon, look like the original first edition ones. And uh, for me, I thought maybe that would be easier for me to read because it's paragraph form. I can read it almost like a novel, more or less than, than scripture format with verses and, and such. And so right before we left Nauvoo one day, um, right before the store was about to close, I, I bought the replica Book of Mormon and I went home. And when I went home, at that point I was in... Technically, in Third Nephi, in my personal reading, I had gotten to before we left to Nauvoo, but it had taken me almost a good year to get to that point. Like, my reading had been very periodic. Um, so I technically finished out from Third Nephi to the end of the Book of Mormon in, like, a week, week and a half. Um, and and um, prayed about it, but I felt like I really needed to start from the meeting again so I could, rather than this periodic, over a year long, here and there, reading of the Book of Mormon, I needed to read it solidly through before serving my mission, and my mission president advised that as well in his letter. And so I started First Nephi in that replica copy, and because of the way it's formatted, it was a real blessing for me. I was able to finish the, the entire book within a month, um, and then I prayed about it and said, piled up most sincere prayer I'd, I'd said up to that point, um, and to be honest, I was kind of disappointed initially. I didn't, I was expecting kind of you know, that enzyme story feeling of the spirit just poof, telling me the Book of Mormon is true. And I didn't really get that. Um, so then what I did is I said, okay. And I just started again. I started again at First Nephi. Um, about a week later or so was October General Conference. And Tad R. Collister gave a talk I, I won't forget uh, called The Book of Mormon, A Book from God. And as soon as the first lines came out of his mouth uh, about the Book of Mormon, that's when the Spirit began to testify to me that the book was true. And as testimonies continue to increase and grow uh, throughout my life, but that's where it first really started was, was there. Um, and for me since then, um, it's kind of been a testimony builder to me of, I think, maybe perseverance or endurance until an answer comes. I don't know if that answer would have come had I not said, okay, fine, and started the Book of Mormon again, even after reading it for a month and then praying. Um, but I think because the Lord saw diligence and, and perseverance and, all right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try again because I, I want to know this book is true, I think that was a big catalyst for the answer coming. Um, and I think one of the biggest foundational points you need to know uh, going into a mission is that the Book of Mormon is true. That's, that's huge. That's key. And so that was a, a witness to me of how the Lord answers prayers and that He does answer prayers and that the Book of Mormon is true and that therefore Joseph Smith is a prophet and, you know, this, uh, the domino effect from there. The week before I went to Nauvoo, I went to the temple for the first time um, and received my endowment for the first time. And something for me I learned there is, once again, small, but aided me greatly was um, my first time receiving my down was a very different experience for me, not what I was expecting at all. Um, but for any any soon to be missionaries who's going to the temple for the first time, taking the down for the first time, for me the biggest factor was I went back to the temple very very soon after the first time. Um, and for me, if I if I didn't go back, if I would have had a little hiatus between my first time and my next time. I don't think I would. I don't think I would be as anxious to go. I don't think I've gotten as much, and kind of just once again taught me the principle of with things we don't. And similar to that, I guess the how my testimony the Book of Mormon was gained with things we don't understand or things we don't grasp immediately. For me, the key is was just to go again, keep going, keep doing, keep even if you don't want to, even if you don't like it, and if you don't get it, it was just a, a hat to make it a reoccurring reoccurring thing, notwithstanding a lack of understanding.